tessellate modifier. This tessellate modifier is used to subdivide the faces or polygon uh, of, a, of an object. So it provides extra smoothness on curved surfaces for renderings. Uh, so uh, let's go and put a cylinder in. So I'm going to put a cylinder in. And there's my cylinder. I do have enough segments to deal with. And now what I want to do is convert it to an editable mesh. So I'm going to click on it, right click, convert it to an editable mesh. Now, in my editable mesh, I want to go in and select, let's say, some polygons. I can either do faces or polygons. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to pick some, some just some polygons that we can see here. Once I have these polygons selected, I'm going to come up into my modifier list. And I'm going to go down into my object space modifiers and I'm going to go to tessellate. So I'm going to come down and choose tessellate. And uh, by default, it picks faces and it picks edge. Uh, so what a face does is it breaks it into um, it picks just the faces, uh, excuse me, in the selected area. Or if I choose polygons, it just picks the polygons in the selected area. At, by default, it's the edge. When I pick on the edge, it's picking the edges of the polygon. So you can see when I go to a face, um, it's picking the edges of the face. And we can also go to face center face center is it's going from the face to the center of the object okay and um, so I can choose those if I go to edge uh, I can choose the tension now the tension I can put on a value and zero the the, the faces will be flat if I put a positive number in there, the faces will be convex. If I put a negative number, they'll be concave. If I choose iterations here, I got one through four. Um, I can do that, and that that modifier will be applied four different times and provide more smoothing. Um, so at this point, I can just say, all right, we're going to update and close, and you can see now. I have more subdivisions in here, more tessellation lines. This will help with rendering better in this area and it will also allow me to edit things in that area. So I could actually come in here into, I can pick on the object, pick on any one of these polygons, right? Or faces. Now I have additional faces and I could do some modifications on those faces as well. Right, so I can pull that out and have some changes made to those new acquired tessellation areas. So I can tessellate in any area I want. I don't have to do the whole object. And in that area, then I'll have better rendering because I have more faces for the renderer to see.